also uh, remove directories now let's look at the last one which is packaging and compressing directories uh, this is something that you also have to learn because sometimes you perform your analysis the results the outputs will be in a single directory maybe you are working on an hpc cluster you want to download all these files and so um a good way of downloading all these files is to first packaging all of them so more like compressing them or zipping them okay so let's try this let's see but let's do an ls let's see bioinformatics okay we have everything let's say we've done our analysis everything here we need it we want to copy them or we want to even distribute them okay of course you can say cp r and then copy by informatics but then a better way to do this is to just compress everything into a single file so i'll show you two approaches let's use the first one which is zip so to package or to compress a directory or a file you can do for both directory and then a file you can use the zip so if you are zipping let's use zip so i can say zip and because this is a directory and i have some files in them i'll say zip dash r okay again let me go over if you want to package if you want to package or compress directories or files using the zip command then you use zip and if it's a directory like bioinformatics which is this one that's this one here then you add dash r and then you can specify the output name so let's just say i want to use this one outputs this will be the output name so this will be the name of the file that will be generated i'll just leave it like this and then i'll specify the directory which is bioinformatics and i'll execute this command okay so now if i do an ls i'm going to find a file called output.zip okay this zip file has everything i need okay so this one i can just download it because now it's a single file so i can download to my pc and then i'll just unzip it so if you want to unzip it's just unzip command and then you just use this now let's try this let me create a directory called um, results let me just copy the output.zip into it and i'll show you how to unzip so let's see let's let me cd into it first let me do an ls here so if i want to unzip a file if i want to decompress it i want to uncompress it and it's a zip file then I just say unzip output dot zip. So if I do an ls, I'm going to find it there. So in this directory, I'm going to find whatever I need there. Okay, so this is one way to um, package or compress directories and also decompress or uncompress them. Now let's see the back to our main directory and then continue. So the zip command is one way to use to package or compress directories or files okay let's try with a file also so zip let's say um let me just let's say um out out file and then i'll just say file.tst so i will do an ls i'm going to find it there out file that is here okay so there's also another way to do so if this is a file like this then you don't need a dash r you just call the zip and then you just specify the output file and then the file itself but if you have directories then you need to use the dash r so you also notice that uh, if you are down in a reference genome for example in uci or ncbi or refseq you write that some of the files will have what's dot zip or dot gz okay they will come in different extensions some will come with zip some will come with gz but these are all compressed so you just need to decompress them and sometimes you know that when you uncompress or when you extract the contents the file sizes become bigger okay so when you compress them then it saves space it's, it saves you some space okay so compressing makes it easy for you to distribute them without um, using much space so that's why you have to do that and it also makes it convenient for you so that you don't end up um, accidentally modifying files now let's look at another way to package and then um, compress files okay so you can use the tar command okay so if i want to 
package or compressed files using the tar command let's just try with the bioinformatics again i can just say tar and i'll say dash z c v f i want to compress as a tab so i have dot tar dot gz and then i specify my output file name so this time let's say results okay let's use a different one let's say analysis and then i specify my at the direction that i want okay the directory of interest which is this one i am packaging the bioinformatics directory or let's use a different one let's say variant okay so that we have some um variability so i'll say variants and then i'll execute it so now if i do an ls i'm going to find it's there let's just check um it should be somewhere there okay let me just do it here um let me try this okay perfect um, i think there was let's just do it again um because I forgot to add an extension so i'll just do it again i'll undo everything i did and then just do it again so if i want to so if i want to package or compress files or directories using the tar command then i have to use tar dash z c v f and then i specify the output file name so i'll say analysis analysis.tar.gc i need to specify everything including the extension with the zip command we do not specify an extension but here we have to do that so i'll do this and then i'll also indicate the directory of interest which is variance and i'll execute this command so now it's done so if i do an ls i'm going to find this directory there okay that's what i have okay, so this is another way to also package or compress files now if i want to extract the content from this let's just copy to and uh, let's say make that that to let's copy this into it that's that too let's see the into it first if let's say i want to decompress i've already covered this um, a number of times in my tutorials but let's do it here if i want to uh, decompress or extract the contents i'll say star ta yeah i'll say ta let me just do again so if i want to decompress it's i want to extract the contents i'll just say ta xvfz and then i'll specify it here and i'll execute the command so if i do an ls i'm going to find this here so notice the difference here it was x v f z here it was z c 